Hey guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar at Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. We just finished this install today on this 20BD Backcountry series. So this is pretty awesome. This is a pretty nice small floor plan and it's a titanium trim. So it's nice to work on these new trailers. We've got the lighter interiors, the titanium on a backcountry. So it's got the onboard generator, which really meshes nicely with our system, which I'll show you. And so we've come here and upgraded this with with a full Victron setup. Like I was saying, onboard generator in this rig. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. It's running right now. Really nice feature to have an onboard generator. You can fire up that generator, get 120 volts to all your outlets. But what we've done with our system, big lithium bank and the inverter, which means that even when the generator isn't running on this rig, you're still gonna have 120 volt to all your outlets. You can run the air conditioner, you can run the microwave, do your coffee pot without having to fire up that generator. That generator then becomes a backup to our system so that you're not firing up all the time, firing it up pretty rarely. The 20BD being a fairly small floor plan, you can option this from Outdoors RV with 600 watts on the roof. That's what the customer did and then we came in and did our magic with the rest of the stuff, which I'll show you in a second. I estimate that we could probably fit about 1500 watts of solar on the roof of a 20BD with our rail system. Matter of fact, we'll be doing that here in a few weeks. Always an option to get more solar on the roof of this rig. Although you have the onboard generator, I can't say how much I love just maximizing solar on the roof because it's always there, it's always charging and you don't have to think about it really. It just becomes the second part of your roof. Again, on a typical backcountry series, you've got the generator running, which is happening right now. And you've got your ability to use your microwave, run the air conditioner, do all that kind of stuff. So you can see the microwave's on now. What's really cool about it is our system is I'll turn the generator off. I don't know, you probably didn't catch it on the video, but instantly our inverter switch is on, which means that we still have our microwave use. So you've always got power, whether you're plugged in, not plugged in, generator running, generator not running, you're always gonna have 120 volts in this rig. Stepping in here under the bed of this 20BD, this is where all the magic happens. This is a full Victron suite. Victron, one of the best people in the market for this kind of off-grid equipment. These three batteries are each 330 amp hours each, which means we've got a 990 amp hour bank in this small 20BD, which is loads of power. We left room for a fourth battery. If someone wanted to add a fourth battery to bring it up even higher, another 25% storage. That's a huge amount of power. Talked about the Victron batteries before, but the reason that we love them is that every device is networked together including the batteries so everything is all controlled everything's talking to each other and there's loads of benefits there multi plus 3000 so this is the inverter it's gonna that's what gives us that 120 volt power when we're not plugged in or the generator isn't running it's going to take the battery bank invert it and give us 120 volt power what's really nice too is that say the solar isn't performing as well or your batteries are down to say 20 percent you've been using them running the air conditioner using all that nice 120 volt power as the batteries get low that multi plus now is also the charger so when this customer fires up the generator well firstly they'll be able to run the air conditioning which they could do already but they may as well run it if they're running that generator and they'll still have enough power from the generator to allow the multi plus to charge at full speed and that's going to send about 100 amps to the battery bank, which means that you're going to be able to bring this big, massive battery bank up three or four times faster than the, the factory charger would have done. Really nice feature there with the MultiPlus and the generator kind of working together. Victron MPPT charge controllers. Again, the panels on the roof are from factory, but we've come in and we've swapped out the factory charge controller for the Victron one put in the Serbo GX and everything is Victron, which gives us the ability now to get all our information, all our power information for this 20BD is gonna be displayed on this screen. Right now we know the generator is not running because it doesn't show any shore power or generator in this square. We know we're inverting, which again is why we're able to run the microwave, air conditioner, all that goodies from the batteries. We're not running any 120 volt in here. So that's the nice thing. You'll turn the air conditioner now. Again, this is running from the batteries. Air conditioning is gonna kick on and we're gonna see, give it a second, boom. So we know now how many watts we're using because we have this information from the Touch 70 screen. 
We know we're pulling in 241 watts from that solar out of the 600. That's nice to know how much is coming in. We know our batteries are at 93%. Another neat feature is we know that at this rate, running the air conditioner with that amount of solar coming in, we know exactly, where is it? We know exactly time to go. So we know exactly how many hours until that battery bank is dead. So you can see here, even from that battery bank, we're looking at 11 hours of runtime of the air conditioner. And that's with the solar not really performing. Really nice amount of juice here. We can see the 12 volt and how much that's using. This screen is awesome. The other thing we love about this screen, if you've got pets, you can set up temperature sensors that will link to this screen. So you can put one in the RV, one in your fridge, wherever you want them, temperature and humidity sensors, as well as propane sensors. But in terms of your pets, you put temperature sensor in the RV, you can connect this to Wi-Fi, and so that when you're away from the rig, you've got your air conditioner running, you wanna know firstly that the air conditioner is still running and you can get that information remotely on your phone from afar. You can also see what temperature it is in the rig. It's a really nice feature, it kind of makes it a bit more like a smart RV. And again, getting your propane levels on here, you can hook up your water levels on here. So everything can kind of become from this central screen that you can see wherever you are in the country, as long as your rig has internet. Other than that, I think that's really all there is to show on this 20BD. Again, awesome, awesome power system. This is the biggest setup, 990 amp hours is the biggest battery bank that we've put in a 20BD. And this is things even more of an off-grid machine. We obviously take pride in our power systems, making them look nice, organized cable, LEDs, the plexiglass. One of the nice things is we've got some LEDs here. So if anyone's working on this, there's lots of light, but also just to show, show your friends. It's pretty epic stuff, and we've got it controlled by the servo here. So turn those LEDs off, it's just on the touch screen, off, and away we go. This 20BD is even more of an off-grid machine now with this setup. It's a really nice use of, of the space here too, and the customer only lost the two drawers, and those drawers aren't that high, so they're not using, losing that much storage space. They still have the space on top of the bed. This thing's an off-grid machine, and yeah, thanks for watching. Love the 20BD floor plan. And if you have a 20BD or any outdoors RV or any RV, reach out to us and we can help you out. This is MYT Solar. Cheers.